The Navy will be taking a large step into the future of maritime prowess by testing the newest anti-submarine warfare ship, the Sea Hunter. The U.S. Defense Agency, DARPA, has completed trials of the Sea Hunter, the world's largest unmanned autonomous vessel or drone ship. The ship is 132 feet long and designed to travel thousands of miles over open seas for months at a time without a single crew member on board. An autonomous ship like the Sea Hunter would make an excellent submarine hunter. Diesel electric submarines, which make up the bulk of the world's submarine fleets, can stay underwater for up to two weeks at a time. That's longer than a helicopter or fixed wing aircraft can stay in the area. And a crewed surface ship puts the hunter at risk of becoming the hunted. But an unmanned ship can linger in an area for months and track an enemy submarine for as long as it takes for the sub to make a fatal mistake. Then attack with a lightweight homing torpedo. This ship features a composite hull and foam core with two outrigger floats to enhance stability at sea. And it has a fiberglass polymer reinforced skin, allowing it to absorb high amounts of stress while remaining incredibly sturdy. The ship weighs 145 tons with full load displacement and can travel approximately 10,000 nautical miles and has a maximum reported speed of 27 knots. The ship can also launch the Talon Elevated Sensor Mast, which is basically a militarized parasail towed behind the ship, lifting a 150 pound payload up to 1500 feet above sea level. Possible payloads for the Talon include communication relays in situations where satellite-based communications are unavailable. DARPA has expanded the potential roles for the Sea Hunter. Because it's an unmanned ship, it can shoot it out with swarms of Iranian speedboats in the Straits of Hormaz, lay in a stealthy ambush with anti-ship missiles to attack enemy ships, or sail up and down foreign coastlines, scooping up radio signals with a spy package attached to the Talon parasail, or even conduct resupply runs in dangerous waters, all without exposing a single friendly sailor to danger. Sea Hunter's autonomous nature means that a land-based crew need only man the ship's sensors and weapons when it is involved in action. A single crew could likely operate multiple Sea Hunters, only crewing them when there is action. The ship is relatively cheap to build and is far less expensive to run than a similar manned vessel. For example, the Sea Hunter will cost about $15,000 to $20,000 per day to operate, whereas the average cost of operating a guided missile destroyer with anti-submarine capabilities are around $700,000 per day. Ships like the Sea Hunter are a real possible future for the US Navy, as it only has a limited number of crewed vessels to handle missions at hand, and the personal costs involved in crewing those ships are a major part of the Navy's budget. The US Navy over the years has experimented with a number of unmanned vessels, such as drone helicopters, fighters, spy planes and boats, and is currently developing the first drone submarine. If you can make a drone out of it, the US Navy will probably be interested in it. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.